two weeks and one day pregnant, which means I have roughly seven weeks and six days to go. So we are in the countdown. It is insane. I say this every week, but I can't believe how fast this is going. So I'm going to jump right into symptoms this week. My number one symptom this week has been heartburn. So much heartburn. It is so annoying. There was one night I couldn't even sleep because I had heartburn so bad. I took Tums, which helped like temporarily. At least I got like a little bit of relief, but that has just been so annoying to deal with. Just lots and lots of heartburn. Something that I've noticed this week that I absolutely love is my face has been clearing up. And I've talked about throughout this whole pregnancy how terrible my acne has been. Like I've been breaking out so much on my back, on my shoulders, and this, I'm actually gonna talk about this in a minute. This isn't acne, but I have back acne on my back, which is disgusting. I've had so many like pimples all over my face, but this last like week it has been clearing up tremendously and I just feel like so normal and I love it. So I don't know what's going on with my hormones, but I'm not complaining one bit. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed this week, which is kind of exciting and way TMI for those of you who are a little more conservative, but I have started producing colostrum. I just happened to notice I was getting in the shower and you know, you look at your body. I don't know, am I weird? I look at my body, make sure everything like is fine. And I noticed that there was some like, I don't even know what it was, like white stuff on my nipple. <laughs> and so I like kind of squeezed it a little bit. This is so TMI. Oh my God. It is so strange to think that there are like thousands of strangers out there that know this, these little details of my body. It's kind of freaky. I, like squeezed a little bit of it, totally TMI and colostrum came out. So my body is officially getting ready for breastfeeding. So that's exciting. Also this week, and this isn't totally new, but this child has the hiccups constantly at least three times a day morning afternoon night every day in the morning usually and then every night usually and then I'll notice throughout the day another like one or two times I'll have the hiccups also so I don't know what to do it's like partying it up in there and getting a little too excited as the hiccups <laughs> so also this week if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram then you saw that I took some maternity pictures this week and I wanted to talk about them a little bit in this video because I have talked about how I hired a birth photographer and with that package I also got maternity pictures and a newborn package as as well well that particular photographer that I hired these were not those pictures so basically long story short I have this girl on my Facebook page who has taken my pictures before and she was offering to do like pictures of people to like kind of like mess around with settings on our camera and stuff like that so I jumped up and I was like hey I'll do some maternity pictures if you want just like totally like throwing it out there so we scheduled a last minute literally it was like the day before I took the pictures we scheduled this thing and so like the kids were in school Chris was at work people were like where's Chris where's the kids why didn't you take any pictures of that that maternity session that you guys saw and I'll insert a couple pictures but I'll put like all of the pictures in like a slideshow when I get all of the maternity pictures done so after I do the other session as well I'll put them all together in a, in a video the reason why Chris wasn't in any of the pictures and like it was just me is because that's not the actual maternity session that I have scheduled that was just like a last minute additional thing and I was like why not like this is my last pregnancy I might as well take as many pictures as I can why not it was so last minute and they turned out so amazingly beautiful I'm so happy with the way that they turned out and she's actually good friends with the birth photographer that I did hire so she is so super sweet I'll put her information down below if you guys are local and want to check her out because she did an awesome 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 job and I was so happy with the way that they turned out so my actual maternity session is scheduled for when I'm 33 weeks so I believe that's Oh, that's actually next week, isn't it? And in those pictures, Chris is gonna be in them for sure. And I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna have the kids be in them or not for a couple different reasons. For one, you only have so much time with the maternity shoot. This is actually a professional shoot. I don't have all the time in the world to kind of get a bunch of little ones to try to cooperate. And on top of that, we're not gonna have Tommy and Caden. And I feel like it's just kind of wrong to take you know a family picture without Tommy and Kaden because it's not our whole family is not there so I just kind of feel weird about having just my kids in maternity pictures and I'm 100% scheduling a newborn photo shoot or like a family photo shoot with all of the kids that's definitely something that I want to do but for maternity pictures I think it might just be more of like me and Chris so that's kind of like an explanation around that another symptom this week referring to these right here I don't know if you guys have noticed these throughout my throughout the last few weeks I've had these little like bumps on my shoulder and I never really talked about it and I never really thought anything of it until I started googling stuff which was always a bad idea I never really thought much of it until recently it's been getting really bad but basically every night when I go to bed my left shoulder itches 
really, really, really bad. And it's only my left shoulder and it itches to the point where you can see I'm like leaving scabs on myself from itching myself so much. And it's only at night, which is really strange to me. And I've had this like shoulder itching before. So it's not like it just showed up out of nowhere, but I have not had it in like probably years that I can think of. It's been a long time since I had this shoulder itching. Now it's like itching now that I'm like thinking about it and talking about it. And I have no idea if this is pregnancy related or not, but I figured I would just talk about it, bring it up just in case it is. I don't know. It's gotten really bad and I think I'm gonna bring it up to my midwife just in case there's anything like she could see about it or see if there's anything like, I don't know, wrong. But obviously I'm itching to the point where I'm like making scabs on myself because it itches that much, which is, really strange. I don't know why it's there, but during the day it doesn't really seem to itch that much. It's only at nighttime and it's like excessive. So that's definitely something I'm going to bring up to my midwife on Friday because it's gotten so bad this last like couple weeks. Speaking of the midwife, we are down to two week appointments now. So I mentioned in my last video I had just had a midwife appointment. Well my next midwife appointment is this Friday. So every two weeks we're doing the midwife appointments now. That's when you know you're getting close and it's just crazy to think that it's that close. So that's really actually it for symptoms this week, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 32 week belly and I do not have my tape measure out here. It is in my room and Landon is in there laying down and I do not wanna risk having him like wake up or anything. So if I can find the tape measure, I'll measure after this video and I'll put my measurements down below. Here's with the shirt on. And, and here is with the shirt up. Getting massive. And I feel like I am starting to get like more pointy here now. Like I was with my other pregnancies. It's just like I'm officially like going. I don't know. I'm, get, I'm getting massive pretty much. That's it. So that is it for this week's video guys. I think I covered everything. I feel like I'm missing something but if I am I'll just put it in next week's video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram and I'll have those links down below. You guys know the drill. If you have any questions ask me in the comments below and I'll try to answer you or answer in the next video. And other than that I will see you guys Wednesday for our next video. Bye. Who wants stitches? <laughs> Does that mean you're a boy and you would just want to get out there with your brothers already? huh? What do you think it's a boy or a girl? Um, a boy. You think it's a boy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>